16, 2014. Six more plaintiffs claim they were given pot chocolate at the Denver County Fair from KDVR.com. Multiple people say they became extremely sick after sampling full melt candy bars handed out by the Live Well vendor at the fair's pot pavilion in early August. One man said immediately that he planned to sue. The six new people were added to the same suit, lawyers said. The fair had a strict no-pot policy. At least three alleged victims say the vendor specifically told them there was no marijuana in the candy. It was a big scare for all three of them. They did not enjoy the effects they felt, and doctors say it can be dangerous when you eat something and you don't realize it has marijuana in it. Two men went to the hospital and tested positive for THC. Everyone recovered. Main doctor who held marijuana clinics in hotels is reprimanded and fined from the Portland Press-Herald. The state board that licenses doc medical doctors has reprimanded and fined a physician who held medical marijuana clinics in hotels, failed to keep adequate patient records, and engaged in other unprofessional conduct. The discipline represents the first action taken by the state against a doctor in connection with medical marijuana since it first became legal in Maine in 1999. The board investigation found that Dr. William Ortiz held a medical seminar in a conference room at the University Motor Inn and at the Black Bear Inn in March 2013, when he saw 59 patients over two days and charged $200 cash to issue a three-month medical marijuana certificate. During follow-up visits, Ortiz charged patients $175 for a one-year certificate, the reprimand said. In a consent agreement, Ortiz agreed to pay a $2,000 fine and reimburse the Board of Licensure in Medicine $1,412 for the costs of the investigation. Of the 59 patients seen, there was no documentation of an examination or a treatment plan for 44 of them, the board said. It also said Ortiz, quote, created a negative impression of his activities and End quote, by seeing patients at unusual times, including three in the morning. Legal marijuana Forest Grove proposes tax on recreational pot sales before November election from the Oregonian. The Forest Grove, Oregon City Council on Monday will consider preemptively imposing a tax on marijuana-infused products and recreational marijuana. The latter condition depends on the on whether Measure 91, which would legalize recreational marijuana use in Oregon, passes in November. The ordinance would allow the city to impose a tax of 10% in gross sales of such products. If the seller holds a registered medical marijuana card, the city would tax them 5%. Sellers would pay taxes by the last day of each month following the end of each calendar quarter. The city modeled its ordinance after one imposed in Happy Valley. The cities of Hillsborough and Scapoose are considering similar taxes on recreational pot sales. Whether the ordinance will survive legal challenges in the event Measure 91 passes will likely be decided in court. Section 42 of Measure 91 declares that, quote, state has exclusive right to tax marijuana. No county or city of the state can impose any fee or tax, including occupation taxes, privilege taxes, and inspection fees in connection with the purchase, sale, production, processing, transportation, and delivery of marijuana items, end quote. Forest Grove officials argue in the report that this language does not preempt city taxation since it does not state whether a state tax repeals local taxes in place at the time of the measure's passing. Wisconsin Governor Scott Walker to fight feds over welfare drug tests from Huffington Post. Wisconsin Governor Scott Walker has come out in favor of making poor people prove they're not on drugs if they want food stamps or unemployment insurance, even if it means a showdown with the federal government. Walker's drug test pitch comes as the Wisconsin Republican is in a close campaign for re-election against Democrat Mary Burke. National polls consistently show that requiring welfare recipients to prove they're not on drugs is an overwhelmingly popular idea. Popular as it is, federal law does not allow states to require drug tests for food stamps or unemployment insurance. Walker told the Journal Sentinel that he would welcome a fight with the feds. Quote, we believe that there will be potentially a fight with the federal government and in court. Walker, uh, Burke's spokesman derided Walker's idea as a campaign stunt. New study says marijuana smokers may use the drug to cope with negative emotions. And next on the news, a study on where bears defecate. I'm sorry we're out of time. That's your 420 Radio News for Tuesday, September 16th, 2014. I'm Russ Belville. You can get 420 Radio on the go with the Ustream video app for Android and iPhone. Go to rad-r.us slash 420 Ustream or just click the Ustream app icon for Android or iPhone below the live radio feed at 420radio.org. There's so much I worry about as a mom. Stephen Harper thinks that organized crime should continue to profit from marijuana prohibition. 
Imagine regulating marijuana like alcohol 